Hey guys, it's War. Welcome back to another video, and today we are, of course, continuing our Minecraft series where we are going through every single version of the game, or essentially every version of the game, uh, playing through update by update and seeing what uh, what goes on in our world. And as you guys remember from last episode, we updated to Beta 1.2, where we came to this new area to build our house, and I haven't done anything since the end of last episode, but that's okay because we got a lot planned to do today in this episode. So as you can see, we didn't update, well, I guess technically we kind of did. I decided to update from 1.2 to 1.2. 1.2 underscore 02. All that update really did, um, they added some kind of a cool glitched painting, which I can't wait to play around with, and it also made it so lapis drops more than one block. Now, part of me kind of wishes we found some lapis first to make it drop one block, just to be like, oh no, that sucks, and then update to, uh, you know, this version where it drops, you know, multiple lapis lazuli, or luzuli, I'm not entirely sure how to say that, uh, but no, we haven't found any lapis yet. But thankfully when we do, it'll drop, okay, uh, it'll drop more than what happens, uh, more than just one, yeah, one drop, like normal. And also at the end of the last episode, we decided to go ahead and start with this, which is going to be kind of a victory monument. If you guys remember classic capture, uh, the monument, or complete the monument, CTM. CTM stands for complete the monument, super hostile series by Vex and a lot of other people. It's kind of a cool Minecraft thing, uh, and I decided to do it. Just as, er, not really. I decided to do kind of an homage to it, uh, just as a way to kind of show off all the different pieces of wool. I did have thoughts about what I could do for, like, pixel art or something. Yeah, we might play with that eventually. I don't want to make any promises, but the thing with pixel art is that you're going to need a lot of different colors of wool. It's very, very expensive, and a lot of wool is hard to find. Like, black wool, that's pretty rare. I think the only way to get it is either squid or you find a black sheep, and also a lot of this stuff... Uh, is like impossible to get like brown wool is impossible to get uh, but I want to start off the at least the beginning of this episode here filling this thing out as much as we can. I don't think we can get everything. Obviously, we don't have any lapis on us yet. Uh, that is part of the plan of today's episode is to go mining somewhere. There's a couple prospects of mines. You can even hear some zombies under me right now. I don't know where that cave or something would be, uh, but you can hear some things. But yeah, let's go ahead and start filling this thing in. Very first here, I have a uh, written down next to me where each single color goes. I'm doing this as an homage to uh, the CTM maps, and they have a certain order with which they do it. Usually they do it in one layer, so it's like just 16 wide. I could have done that, but you know, eight and then eight just works fine as well. So we're gonna do that. Light gray actually plops down right there. Uh, and then of course we can make a lot of different colors with just the things we have on us right now. So first off, yellow, which goes somewhere. Where the heck does yellow go? I'm looking at my thing. Oh, it's so confusing. Okay, let's just make a ton of these first. Uh, just for ha just for having fun. Let's go ahead and make a lot of these as many different colors as we can get here This is gonna make orange. Yes, red and yellow makes orange bada bing bada boom And there you go orange wool and then what else we got? <laughs> I believe would this make anything wait wait wait. Okay, hold on. Let's make some more Dye here does uh white and red. Yes, that makes pink. Of course it makes pink. Yes white and red makes pink dye and does this yellow and white? Yeah, this doesn't make anything. Didn't think so. I think that's about it, though, without green. Oh, but think, speaking of green, we have some cooking up right in here. Yeah, right. And voila. Boom. Threw that in there. Cactus green. Oh, funny it says cactus green. Yeah, it's kind of neat having tooltips now. This is also th something that's new. Uh, one of the funny ones. I'm going to leave my door open. Hopefully we... Don't die. Hi, chicken. Uh, look, this is called sulfur. I think that changes to gunpowder eventually, but right now it's called sulfur, which is pretty neat. Um, I think... I could be completely wrong, but I think in the last episode it was spelled with an F instead of a PH, which I guess is just a mistake. I don't know. It's kind of funny when you think about it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make this. Voila, pink wool. And then we got all these colors going on here. Let's make a green, and then let's make a uh, light green, I believe is possible. Yeah, lime green, excuse me, not light green, lime green. I love this color, wow. Okay, our inventory is a mess, but let's go ahead and just start plopping these down. First off, we have orange wool, and this one looks great. That looks like an orange sickle kind of thing. I really like how that texture looks. Next up, we have magenta. I think we need blue for magenta, yeah. Light blue is next, and then yellow. So magenta, light blue, yellow. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we need lime green. I'm looking at a little piece of paper next to me. I'm not just making this up here. Uh, and then we need pink. Yeah, thankfully we have pink, right? Lime green, pink. And then what is that? Dark gray? I don't believe I have any dark gray. I guess I need to find some squid first. Uh, maybe white and black ink or something. I don't know how to make dark gray. Uh, I think I need squid ink. 
first off. Uh, and then down here we need cyan, of course we can't do that. Purple, we can't do that either. Blue, still can't do that. Brown, green, red. So green and red, okay, we can at least do these last. Okay, not if we're stupid. Uh, green, and then red, or should I say red, then green. Okay, cool. There we go. There's the progress so far. Uh, it's kind of funny with the missing blocks or whatever, but we're going to fill them out. I think it all just comes down to having some blues, which we don't have any of yet. But yeah, cool. And I'll definitely still try to think of some sort of something to do with wool. I mean, obviously, the, the easy thing to do is some kind of carpet in here. I'm definitely down for that uh, somewhere. Just put it down as like a nice little carpet instead of just hard stone brick or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around. We'll think of something. I was trying to do this like Roy G. Biv, you know, the uh, red, orange, yellow, uh, green, blue, whatever. Uh, and I don't know where pink goes in that. Would it go next to the red because it's a shade of red? Or would it be near the violet because it's like a bluish violet color? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just brainstorming myself. All right, the next task of the episode is going to be a pretty fun. We're going to go exploring, kind of. Really, what we're trying to do is take our stone shovels and go digging somewhere, which I think I know. When I was, uh, you know, looking for, what was it? I was looking for clay last episode, and I kind of went further than I would care to admit. Uh, I wish I kind of saved it on camera. Oh, actually, right here. Yeah, right here. Look at this. And this is not what I was planning on showing you guys right away. Uh, but right over here is... Of course, it's getting dark. That sucks. Uh, but right here, you can kind of see the world is already kind of splitting, like, to kind of generate new chunks and stuff from the last episode. These are, like, new chunks. Don't break. Thank you. Uh, these are, like, new chunks and new areas, so the world kind of doesn't know what to do with itself. And I was saying last episode, or... I think it was a couple episodes ago. I'm not sure when. But I'm one of the few people that thinks this stuff is kind of really cool. Like, it's just completely... Like, it's not a glitch. It's like, it, it's just how it is. Like, it's not messy to transfer the lines. You can just walk from old chunk to new chunk, just like that. I personally think it's kind of fun. Like, I think it's kind of neat. But uh, there's some people that really hate how this looks in their world because it doesn't look natural. Uh, but who cares? I think it's cool. And there's like a cave right there. You know what? Screw it. Let's go check that out. Okay, I don't think it's much, unfortunately, but it's kind of neat. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of cool. So this would be like a normal cave connecting into this one. That would be deep underground, but the world changed. So it's, I don't know. I, I'm i I'm like one of the, ooh, wait, does it keep going? Not really, I don't think. Um, possibly this way. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't think it really does much, but it's still cool. And I might be the only person in the world that thinks it's cool, but let me know. Do you guys think this stuff's interesting? I do, personally, but I don't know. Uh, let me know. Okay, while our adventure is a little bit postponed because it is nighttime, we are going to start, you know, digging down here. This is going to be our new, you know, uh, project while it's nighttime, and I just want something to do so I don't just sit around and twiddle my thumbs. We are going to start, you know, digging this area out because this area is going to be basically a much bigger storage. I was going to say bulk storage. I don't know if I want to go to that extremes and call it that, but... Maybe if I just dig this area out, we can come up with some kind of cool design. And one of the designs I want to do really badly has to use sandstone and a lot of sandstone. And unfortunately, I don't have like any sand. Uh, and by that, I mean I have no sand. I'm completely out of sand. So what I want to do when it is actually daytime is sail out and go get to that desert, which I do know where it is. Uh, I believe I know where it is. I have a good inkling of where it could be because it looked sort of familiar. Oh, here's that cave. I knew there was a cave around here. Is it like expansive? Is it cool? Let's check it out. Uh, but what I was, I was saying is that's why I made these tons of stone shovels here is because I want to go out and I want to find uh, the sand area with the desert and just dig up a whole bunch of uh, what is it? Sand. And that's basically all I want to do. And don't worry, I'm not going to force you guys to, to watch me dig sand for who knows how long. But, uh, yeah, for now, we'll dig through here and we wait. Actually, you know, the clock. I always forget about the clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the clock on our hot bar here. And then we can see when we're ready to set sail, as they say. I don't know why I said that, because, I mean, technically they say that. I, it doesn't really make any sense. Okay, whatever. Okay, it is morning. It is time to set sail. But before we do so, I want to show you guys something that I completely forgot about. Yes, I am so embarrassed that I forgot about this. Yeah, this came out in beta 1.2. We have coordinates. I, I know. I cannot believe the thing I've been complaining about this whole time. As you can see, my coordinate is changing as the cow is pushing me. Uh, um, the thing I've been complaining about the whole time, the fact we don't have coordinates, has been in the game. 
uh, for what, one update, not really that long of a time, but I just forgot about it last episode, not a big deal, but I know about it now, and I'm so excited that it's finally here. So, as you can see, our home is at X-416 and Z-206. That is, of course, our beta home. I definitely want to write down, sketch, tattoo it on my arm or something where all of our different main locations are. Obviously, the alpha base and then the beta base. Again, name pending. Any suggestions are very much so welcome, but let's go ahead and begin our little journey here. Shouldn't be much, but I do actually have a good inkling of where I'm going and what I'm going to see when I get there. So, we're going to head out this way with our trusty stone shovel army in hand, and we're... Okay, I thought I had no pants. Yeah, my pants are gone in this, but I got pants on. Um, we are going to go this way and set sail to the desert and i believe this desert is the desert that we saw with our another portal a couple episodes ago two episodes ago i believe it was two episodes ago but yeah i saw that kind of a, a janky area oh yo sheep okay cool let's go ahead and make a quick pit stop already i'm looking for squids apparently there's squids apparently i haven't seen them uh but we're gonna we're gonna keep an eye out for sure Sheeps, hi, you guys are cool, but boom, black sheep, and yeah, if we can't find a squid, then that's all we got is just to punch black sheeps, and uh, that, that sounds vicious and violent. Yeah, they're fine, they're perfectly healthy, they're gonna eat the grass, they're gonna regrow their fur, fur, jeez, uh, wool, um, whatever it's called, yeah, whatever, okay, they're perfectly fine. I'm keeping my eye out, though, for a gray sheep, that would be cool if we can find one of those. Are we blocked in here? Are you kidding me? That did not take long to get uh, land locked here. All right, let's go ahead and don't break. Yeah, I knew you'd break. I, that was dumb on me. That's on me. That one's on me. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this new boat if we're not going to be landlocked. Maybe we'll just leg it for a second. Uh, but yeah, like I said earlier, maybe not. Okay, I thought this was another one of those like chunk things where it's like split off with like new generated chunks and whatnot. Uh, there's also a sheep up here. Wait, if I shoot this guy, does this wool pop off? It does! How funny! I, for some reason, I had a feeling that would work. Maybe I, I remember that vaguely when I played Minecraft forever ago, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I haven't tried that in a while. Okay, over here, as you can see, we're clearly in a desert. And if you guys remember from our old base, we have a ton of cactus. We, we're really not coming for the to the desert biome for the cactus. Uh, we got plenty of you. I want to start growing some at the new base, just so we have like a continuous supply. But not going to stress too much about it. I'm going to do the same thing for like sugar cane and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, not a big deal there. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going here. Aha! Okay, yeah, this is about what I saw. Um, yeah, okay, there. There's my boat uh, from the episode before. I did not show any of it on... Did I really take fall damage like that? Uh, yeah, this is what I did not show in the episode before. Uh, but yeah, this is about where I ended up. And I was like, wait, this looks kind of familiar. I'm pretty positive that this is the desert, which we saw uh, a couple episodes ago when I sailed out. I believe my nether portal should be. There it is. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so this is the desert from a bit ago. And it makes sense geographically because this is just west of the new terrain or whatever. So pretty cool. It makes sense to me that this, uh, this would be over here. But... Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this, uh, this conversation on pause for a second as I take out my army of stone shovels and just chip away at this thing. Who cares how it looks after I'm done with it? I'm just gonna start digging and hopefully get a lot of sand. Uh, yeah, we'll see what I get. You would think some kind of, like, ritual or something was going on here. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, um, we decided to do the easy method here and just place down torches. Yeah, all these shovels I brought, don't really need them. But look at all the sand we got. This took, like, three minutes. Yeah, this was <laughs> way better <laughs> of a method than I thought of. So, yeah, this, this worked out fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on back, uh, pretty easily. Should I go through the nether? Should we have fun and go through the nether? Why not? Yeah, let, let's, uh, since we're here, we may as well. Right, people? You're speaking of, where is the nether portal? It's this way, right? <laughs> uh, yes? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. It's kind of creepy how quiet this is, just, just sailing. But yeah, let's pass through the, or pass by that nether portal. We'll go into it in a second. Uh, but I wanted to come over here. One, I'm looking for some squids somewhere, uh, maybe. That'd be cool. That's why I saw this lava. It's cool looking. I don't think I really needed to come over here to see it, though. Yeah, there's just monsters waiting for me. But we're going to continue looking around a little bit for squids here, uh, just for a, a smidge of time. It's so hard because it's nighttime, but still, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out for sure. 
I always think it's kind of funny that like the nether is probably safer to travel in than it is at night. Also, yeah, I did um, put signs in all these at some time. I don't remember when. But yeah, I just labeled all the different portals and everything, except for, I think, I, I think I have the desert labeled, but I forgot to show you. Uh, but I think I don't have this base labeled over here, which, yes, this is the, that's the original base. And then over, you just make a hard right this way. And this is where you go to beta base, which I do like how beta base sounds. I'm going to reiterate it. I do like how beta base sounds, but everything, look how creepy that is. Um, I, everything else, the alpha base, I don't know. If we come up with something better, uh, again, we'll change it. Uh, but I do need to label this. At least. And also, it's still going to be nighttime, isn't it? So, let's get ready for a potential war when we get out of here. Uh, hopefully, that's not what happens, but I'm prepared, no matter what. Alright, perfectly safe. Not Nothing to worry about. Look at this. We come back, and there's just a collection of eggs. Also, that uh, that sheep right there is very appealing to me. This is just a great thing to come back home to uh, for a couple of reasons. Let's go ahead and just jump this dump this crap off. Uh, it all goes upstairs, of course, yes. I, again, I'm starting to not be a big fan of my layout for this stuff, uh, but let's hurry before that stuff goes away. I say as I calmly put my things in chests. Yeah, pretty good haul on sand if you ask me. As you can see, we had literally like nothing. Literally like is like the biggest uh, oxymoron. Is that how you say that word? Oxymoron? Okay, I'm being dumb. Uh, all right, boom. Is this dark gray? Gray wool. Wait, do I have gray? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, gray and uh, egg one, egg two. I believe when I was looking at the picture, I thought gray was just dark gray. So I think if I look back over here, um, dark gray. Yeah, that should be this one, I believe. This one, as in that one. Cool. There we go. Getting stuff done. No creepers. Yes, for some reason I had a spider sense that a creeper was walking behind me, but he didn't blow if he was there, so we're good. Uh, now all we're waiting on is just the, the brown, which is just not going to happen, by the way, because brown just is unobtainable. Uh, but besides brown, we just need the rest of these covered with, um, or not covered, but they get covered by obtaining lapis, which is, of course, the blue dye, which we need to go find. Darn it. All right, whatever. Oh, also, the the reason I was excited about eggs, also wrong chest, uh, the reason I was excited about eggs is because we need to make a chicken farm today. Yes, I'm pretty actually, I'm actually really excited about that, the very first farm in theory. I don't know how well it's going to work, honestly. I feel like the chickens are just going to despawn and run out of there. Uh, but at the same time, it, it's still just the fact that we can respawn our own mobs in any kind of way is warranted of, of attempting to make a farm at the very least. So... This is kind of a mess. I don't really like how this is turning out, but whatever. Okay, cool. Um, reason number 19,000 why we need a new storage room. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, chicken farm. Let's let's get it done today. I'm excited. All right, so a little area has been cleaned out here. Also, if you happen to remember, there may have may not have been a little mini cave right here. I've just decided to cover up. There was. Uh, it was absolutely nothing, so I'm covering it up. Um, anyways, yeah, right here is where we're going to be putting our chicken farm. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm actually oddly really proud of myself for the design I came up with for this thing. Uh, it's stupid, but uh, I kind of love it. So, first thing, we need a 4x4 four four area with wool. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. Yes, boom, and then four deep. So yeah, move this over one or something. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. And also this should be in the ground, so I messed up. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish off this, but I also am going to change, I believe this. Yes, change this just a little bit. Uh, and also this one. And we are making ourselves, if you can't tell by now, it is something beautiful. If you look at the colors in my inventory right now, it should be clicking together. We are making none other. I'm just laughing to myself, I'm so dumb. Uh, we are making none other than a chicken face in the ground, kind of, right? Doesn't it work a little bit, uh, maybe? Okay, I just tried something else that looked ugly. Let's stick with this. Yes, I kind of love this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is kind of working for me. So this is uh, the beginning of our chicken farm. Obviously, not much more work needs to be done here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a little just stupid thing. But uh, we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to fill this area in. And uh, this is pretty much the go-to design. I'm not going to lie. This is just the, the, the four corners of wood and... Um, what what else? Uh, wooden planks uh, around it. Yeah, that's the the most typical design I can do right now. It, it's pretty bland, but hopefully the flooring makes up for it uh, in some kind of way. Also, we need fences. So let me go grab those. 
Bada boom, there we go. This is the completed chicken farm. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love that. Uh, maybe I should raise, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna raise these up one and then it should be done. So if I just do that and then this, Looks a little bit better, but then at the same time, you can't really see in there. So maybe not. I don't know. Well, we might mess with it a little bit more, but for the most part, it's uh, it's not bad. So let's go ahead and give it our first shot. Oh my god, first try. Come on, buddy. Uh, so there we go. There is our working chicken farm. And in case you aren't connecting the dots here, basically what's going to happen is this guy's going to wander around. He's going to poop his eggs, and then I'll come by and pick up his eggs and throw another one, and then we just have a respawning amount of chickens uh, just forever and ever. Pretty cool. So uh, just a kind of an early version of a, a farm. All right, let's take our 16 eggs, which actually reminds me I do want to make another cake in today's episode. I'll probably do that in just a second. Uh, one that we can actually eat and not just suspended in the, the air, <laughs> I suppose. Boom, Archer, we're gonna go ahead and just throw the rest of these. Yeah, as you can see, they're not as common as, you know, my luck on getting the, the first one first try was, uh, but they're not bad. So we got two in there. Let's just go ahead and empty out this whole thing. Uh, see how many we can get onto the chicken pen. Oh my God, only two from a 16, okay, three. Yeah, only three from the 16 thing. So I'm pretty impressed that one egg we threw managed to spawn one. Yeah, but now we have four main chickens. Uh, Albert, Herberto, Alberto, and Herb. Yes, those are their four names. And uh, these are going to be the main chickens of the group. We're going to come in, we're going to pick them up, and they will probably... Yeah, look at that. I, I wasn't even worried walking out that door. Boom! So now we have a chicken pen. I love it. I, I, I love that the floor is a chicken face. Why not? Just having fun with it. Looks cool to me. All right, new set of uh, ingredients obtained. Let's go ahead and make ourselves cake. Round two. Let's not be dumb with this one. If you guys know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out the last episode because, uh, yeah, things went haywire. Let, let's put it like that. We can go ahead and put it on the... this. <laughs> I kind of wish I put it here, but it looks perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. And boom, yeah, that's what the inside of the cake looks like. Cool, and it heals at least one heart. I, I thought it was, yeah, I guess maybe one heart. I don't actually know exactly how much it heals each time, but we'll figure it out as we get hurt and consume more cape, uh, cake. I don't know why I'm saying consume, like I'm I'm Kirby or something. I don't know, but uh, cake's good, and we're going to continue to eat that sucker uh, until it's empty. Okay, the next thing I want to work on today's episode is none other than note blocks. Yes, I decided to make a few of these uh, a second ago, and they are in, they were added at least in Minecraft Beta 1.2, something I have not really dabbled with before, not only just in Minecraft Beta, uh, but in Minecraft in general. I, I mean, I've, I've placed a note block, I know how they work, but um, I'm not particularly good at them. I'm also not really musically inclined, so that's the big reason I'm not very good at them. Uh, but they're kind of interesting blocks. If you don't know, they actually uh, make different notes. I'm sure most people know, but if you do not, uh, yeah, so basically you place them down and then you, you right click to pick the sound you want. It sounds gross because it's on wood. It depends on, or it's on stone. It depends on what kind of block it's on. Uh, let's put it on wool. Oh, it sounds lovely. It sounds just beautiful. Uh, and then after you right click it to whatever sound you want, left click is when you yeah, you keep that sound, you keep that note block. And also if you send a redstone signal to it, then again, it makes that. So essentially people are making redstone, uh, what, redstone music. And actually, I don't know if I can even make a song. I was just trying to think. The reason I'm kind of confused about that is because we don't actually have repeaters in the game yet. So that's gonna be interesting, but we may as well at least uh, lay these out and see what different kind of sounds we can make. Okay, so here we are. Here are all the different sounds we can make. So let's try them out. So first off, we have the angelic sounding. I believe it's just a piano. I mean, this is this is the default one. It doesn't need to be on wool. I think it can just be on like any block. Uh, and then over here we have the the hard. It sounds like a bass or something like that. I don't know. Uh, and then over here we have like a, a jazz guitar kind of thing. And then over here is kind of like a like a I don't know drumsticks hitting together sort of snare snare drum sort of thing. Yeah, then here we have, oh, this sounds weird. It sounds like a, a woodpecker or something. I don't know, weird noises. Um, yeah, weird noises all around. And I, I have no idea where on earth to begin. Also, do they make noise when there's, no, they don't make any noise when there's a block above them. Interesting. Um, 
I have no idea where to begin on this, uh, <laughs> what is laid down before me. I have zero clue where to begin. The thing I was thinking of was really simple. It's basically just a doorbell. Um, hey, hey, buddy, you know, let's 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 take care of that before I forget. Yeah, that is uh, that is something you don't want to see. But at the same time, I'm glad I saw him outside instead of inside. Uh, the thing I was thinking of was a simple idea, basically just a doorbell. Sorry, man. Uh, but yeah, basically just like a doorbell thing. At the same time, though, we could make some music. We, we could try to make some music. I should clarify. Yeah, attempt to make some music would be the better thing to say here. Uh, but yeah, I was basically thinking we put a button here, you press it, and then it sends a signal down. It goes ding ding or something like that. Yeah, but again, I think I was saying this, but there's no repeaters, which makes making music a little bit harder. Uh, but... Maybe we can do something manually where we get like one button and then another button to make a different sound or something. Again, just brainstorming here. I'll, I'll try to think uh, of something neat to do. Okay, <laughs> I, I think I have something. It, it's something is the definition I should put on it. So if I click this button, are you guys ready? Ding dong. Yeah, y you can hear it, right? It's something, okay? It's very, very simple. But yeah, if we come down here, you can see my madness unfolding here. Yeah, so basically what I got here is it's right underneath the door. This is my testing button here. Ding dong. Yeah, it's a, it's a lime green note goes into a, uh, what is this? Purple note. And these are all purple notes. Again, I'm so sorry. Every person out there that's musically inclined, they're just yelling at me right now for not knowing what these are. But... Yeah, I have a snare and this note to try to emphasize, like, the, the power behind it. So if I go, so it's these first, and then it's those, and I also, over here, I also have, uh, what is it, a piece of wood to try to sell, like, the, the harder, you know, the dong sound. So it's like a ding-dong, so it's a, it's a darker note or a lower note on the wool. Yeah, okay, I know. It's not perfect, it's not great, it's not a lot, uh, but again, we can only do one note, two note, and that's all we can do. And we can do a couple notes at the same time, so that's obviously what I got going on here. Uh, but that's basically the end of today's music lesson. Yes, it was it was an attempt, and I think it works okay. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of the doorknob being... Um, let me show you guys. It's like, it's not on the side of the door, it's underneath. I wish I could put it here. I can't, for the life of me, come up with something so I could put it higher. The only thing I can come up with is if I move it like here and then I just block this. But then every time you open the door, you'll be able to see in there. You can see the redstone. Yeah, if that made any sense, I don't know. But uh, maybe I can come up with something else as to where to put the door knob or t doorbell, not no knob. Um, yeah, bing bong. It, it, it's something, right, guys? It's it's at least, you know, a noise. And also, we got to check out my pen here, uh, see how it's doing, what eggs we got. Our inventory is completely full, but that won't stop me from peeking in here. Do we got nothing? No eggs? What are you guys doing? Why aren't you guys having fun on your, your chicken friend's face? Okay, I got to shut up. Uh, but yeah, seriously, no eggs? Come on, guys. You got to get to it. Also, we do have a, a pig friend. We're going to keep the pig in there as a bit of an experiment. Look at that, before my very eyes, they know what's up. Uh, I also did have a thought of to putting like a pressure plate in here or something to kind of, uh, oh my god, I was wrong. Look at all you guys, you just love being by the door. Get out from the door, people. Uh, I had an idea of putting like a pressure plate in here. Uh, none of them, nothing. Okay, are you guys gonna all come out as soon as I open the door? Um, some of you are, yes, go back in, go back in, go back in. All right, whatever. Some got out. Not not the end of the world. I, I have no lure to get them back in, but uh, oh well. Um, what was I saying a second ago? Who knows? Oh yeah, the pig. I'm going to keep the pig in here as a little experiment. Uh, if he despawns, then we know there's no point to this farm. They can just despawn. But uh, if he doesn't, then hey, we have a chance this farm might actually be functional, which is definitely what we like to see with our farms. But enough redstone, this and that. We're going to go ahead and go on with the next part of the episode. Yeah, it's so quiet. Also, there's just so many noises, like the animals, the door, the button. Yeah, it's so it's so quiet. But you know what? At least we tried something. We tried to get something going there. Uh, but we're going to move on to the next part of the episode, which is, which reminds me. Yeah, I got some bricks here. Um, yeah, I got nowhere to put them. Can we put them back? I guess we can. Um, that's kind of a weird glitch. Uh, but next part of the episode is pretty straightforward. I want to go mining. I want to find some lapis. Yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna get myself prepared to dive into the mines for the first time here and uh, discover some new ores and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes.
All right, I'm actually pretty excited, I'm not going to lie. It has been a while, and that is an understatement uh, by saying a while. It has been a very long time since I've last gone mining, and just the feeling of going down in the depths and just collecting blocks and usually listening to podcasts or some music or whatever, it just feels good, man. It, it's a pretty nice, chill vibe until, you know, something terrible happens. Uh, I don't really need this coal. That's going to be a bad habit of mine is just ignoring so many ores I don't need. I'm, I'm like, dead set on trying to get some uh, lapis and... You know, also diamonds. Diamonds don't hurt. They really don't hurt anybody, except for the monsters I kill with my diamond tools. But besides them, diamonds are very nice to see. So we're going to be giving our good hearty attempt going down to our mines. Hopefully it's not horribly dangerous, uh, as say as I already get my first damage done. Also, I had the genius idea, why don't I just bring like a stack of wheat? So then like if I run out, this is like 11 more pieces of wheat. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm a genius. Maybe that'll backfire somehow. I have no clue. Uh, but we're going to give this a good old hearty attempt. I feel like I say that a lot, which is a weird thing to say a lot. But um, we're going to go. We're gonna just going to mine for a while. I'm going to be fixated really on just getting ores. Uh, I'm not that low on materials. I guess I could use more iron. I could use more everything. I mean, it doesn't hurt again, but... Yeah, we're just gonna go, and I'll report back to you with my findings, and uh, if I find some lapis, which is really what I'm going for. Alright, there it is. There is our very first thing of lapis. Yeah, it actually didn't take too long. My inventory is, of course, already a mess, but really didn't take too bad. I'm not that far down. I thought that was a, um, what, what is it, a mob spawner down there? It still might be. No, I don't think it is. I think that's just, like, some lava and uh, water got mixed up together make that cobblestone down there uh but yeah really we didn't go have to go that far to find some lapis and it's still a bit of a dangerous area but uh yeah i decided to just let you guys know that we found it so we're gonna go ahead and break this as soon as i can get down there maybe okay kind of a weird thing but uh we're gonna try our best to mine this lapis here and see how many we get boom actually a lot six lapis that's really not bad at all i thought it would drop like three or four uh considering like what is it that drops so little? Um, what's that thing? Glowstone. Yeah, glowstone drops so little. But thankfully, Lapis dropped a good amount. The only thing is that it looks like that was the only one around here. I don't know why they're not spawning in veins or whatever. Just like that one. Uh, but that's about it. And uh, for now, though, I'm going to continue mining. Try to find some more Lapis and the other blue rock that we like. But uh, again, we're really not that far down. I don't think, at least. And uh, yeah, I'll report back with you guys if there's something cool to show. All right, I think we're pretty much done with this mine. I pretty much seen all there is to see in this mine. And this is essentially our haul from this trip. Uh, not bad, a lot of iron, good amount of coal, and then as you can see, 51 lapis, which is definitely not bad, a little bit more than I was expecting. Uh, unfortunately though, as you can see, no diamonds, which is really upsetting. I really thought we were getting close a couple times. I could actually check my uh, Y coordinate and I was actually at Y12 a couple times, but still no diamonds to be found, unfortunately, but um, are there chickens still? Please tell me there's still chickens. Oh no, are they gone? Yeah, they're really gone. Okay, well, our chickens despawned. Uh, that sucks, but it's not a big deal. I mean, I was just kind of, it was kind of wishful thinking, thinking that we could get a farm at this, this early on or whatever, but yeah, I guess, you know, mob farms or animal farms aren't really meant to be a thing quite yet. So yeah, I was kind of jumping the gun a little bit with the eggs and the chicken eggs or whatever. But yeah, still sad to see that they just despawn. I think animals just naturally despawn uh, once in a while and uh, these fell victim to it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start cooking up some of the stuff in my inventory and then... Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, there it is. There's the doorbell. It's not bad, is it? It's, it's not bad. Uh, I'm going to start cooking up some of the stuff and then we'll continue on with the rest of the projects of the episode. Okay, it is time now with our new lapis in hand, and I grabbed a couple of the other dyes here. Well, I forgot to actually make the dyes, but yeah, I got the stuff for the dyes at least. It is time to hopefully finish up as much as we can this uh, victory monument or whatever you want to call it. First up is magenta. Uh, how the heck do you make magenta? Like this, maybe? Purple. Oh, that's purple. Uh, and then maybe purple and white together might make magenta. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. No. Nope. All right. Stop. 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 I got to make sure I do this uh, right. What's what's these two? Is this? This is magenta. Wait, did I just do that? Am I dumb? Hold on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. This is light blue. Okay. Light blue. And then what are you two together? Oh, you're cyan. Okay. How the heck do you make magenta? Is it you and red? Maybe? No. Uh, you and white. I think I tried that. Uh, this and uh, blue. I did that. Um, 
So it's actually pink and purple together. I would have never gotten that. Yeah, it's pink and purple. I had to I had to throw in the towel. I had to look it up. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and make a couple of these wools. I love how dyes just immediately like get my inventory incredibly full of random, random stuff. Uh, yeah, let's make the blue. We haven't made the blue yet. Make the light blue, make the light blue. I already did light blue. Okay, I'm a little dumb. Uh, yeah, let's do the cyan. I didn't make cyan, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, magenta. Is this magenta? Yes, I did magenta. Stop making the same thing. Purple, purple. There, boom. Is this all we got so far? Or is this all we need? I believe. Uh, let's see what we have to fill in. So first up here is the magenta, which I have in hand. So magenta goes here, and then it's uh, skeleton fight next. Yes, that is the order of operations. Okay, so magenta there, and then it says light blue. So let's get the light blue out here. Uh, and there's an arrow sticking in my wool. So light blue, and then cyan here, which is bada bing bada boom. And then it's purple, and then blue. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it until brown. Which, brown is right there. <laughs> there you go, people. There is our completed victory monument. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's unfortunately no brown quite yet. Uh, which is definitely a little sad. Uh, but yeah, besides that, we got them all. Which I'm actually pretty impressed. And these are actually pretty nice colors. I do wish it was daytime so I could see them a little bit better. But from what I'm looking at right now, these don't look bad at all. Like, these these lighter tones, I think they kind of nailed. Like, this orange is beautiful. Uh, and then I also like this, I believe it's magenta right there. And the green as well. Uh, again, I've said it eight times, some kind of pixel art design or something would look pretty cool if you ask me, uh, but for now, this is definitely solid enough. You know what actually else I want to do with my lapis is I want to take a look at the lapis block at least. I have a design I could use with this stuff, uh, but I don't think I can really make a lot of them as you can see. And there it is. This is a nice looking block, is it not? It totally is. I'd love to use this in it design somewhere. I'm thinking of some ideas and stuff. Um, maybe we'll give it a try. I'm not sure. Uh, but I probably will need more of them, at least if I would to continuously use them. And yeah, it's kind of sad we just have a missing spot right here. But brown wool will come eventually. As it is right now, there's no way to get it. Like, it just doesn't spawn in the game, which is very, very sad. But uh, when that comes... It'll be cool, I suppose. We can come back here and finish the Victory Monument. Which, speaking of, one of the other things that I wanted to do uh, of... I see the zombie. Yes, yes. Ooh, I still got it in time. Am I dream? Maybe I'm dream. Uh, hopefully I don't cheat and spawn in a brown wool. Okay, bad joke. All right, boom. Uh, brown wool. Colon... <laughs> Frown. Yeah, I still have the, the situation where I can't really like see my keyboard because of my mic, so that's why it's so awkward typing. But yeah, there we go. There is essentially the uh, the completed one for now. Again, kind of sad, missing one, but it's not bad. It definitely looks pretty cool. And now it's daytime, we can actually see these brighter colors a little bit, and I'm liking them a lot. I wish black, like I have not seen a single, uh, what is it, squid? And so I, I think it sucks that oh, you haven't seen one, so we can't really find a lot of black uh, ink or whatever. What are they called? Ink pods? Ink sackets? I don't know. <laughs> but I, I can't find any, unfortunately. Uh, but until then, I will keep a lookout. And I'll let you guys know if I do find a squid anywhere, which would be really cool. There's a creeper over here. Am I? No, I'm not that low on arrows. For some reason, I thought it was I was from like mining or something. I see like a little black thing in the water over there. Is that is that a squid? I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't think it is. I think that's a little visual glitch. Unfortunately, I'm pretty positive. Yeah, that's totally a, a little glitch, isn't it? Yep, okay, I came all the way out here for nothing. That stinks. Okay, so the next thing I want to check out real quick while we're still on this episode and before we go into the next is I want to see about a mysterious painting uh, that is supposedly added into the game. So apparently they added a painting, but it didn't actually, like, properly work so they added accidentally like a 4x4 painting that's just like broken so yeah it'll look like this but just broken I have no clue I've never heard or seen of this before uh, what they could be talking about again if you guys don't know we do have a museum with all the paintings on display so if I can find out if this one's true or not if this like weird one is a real thing that would be really cool to put in the museum somewhere uh, but for now let's just gonna I'm just gonna keep clicking here and see if I can get it to pop up somewhere Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so cool. I've never actually seen this before in Minecraft. I saw it in the patch notes. They have a weird glitched missing painting. And uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that is a sight to behold. That is really cool. I've never seen or heard about this before. I have no clue if like when I update, it'll be replaced with a real painting or if it's just going to look like this forever. 
I have zero clue. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and go to our, um, what is it? We're going to go to, uh, go to our thing and, uh, put it in the museum. I, it's a bit of a walk for me, but for you guys, I'll go ahead and do it. And also, may as well see if we can avenge our chicken brothers and sisters that fell, uh, and see if we can get some new ones in here. No, we can't. Okay, I guess no one wants to go in the chicken chicken pen, uh, which I absolutely love that name. I just came up with it, the chicken chicken pen. So, there it is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring, you know, a, um, this mysterious painting to our museum somewhere, which is quite a ways of a walk. I'm not going to rebuild a whole new museum, but for you guys, I'll give it uh, the, the hike just because I want to put it in the museum really badly. Okay, here we are back in the old base. Yeah, it doesn't look as exciting as I remember it, definitely because of the grass being like ugly, which was one of the most saddest updates to see. Yeah, this poor grass got changed or whatever, but it's still fun coming back here. I feel like, have this there been an episode break in between since like when we've moved? I guess not. So I guess, yeah, every single episode we've been around here still, which I kind of want to get away from just because I want to move on to something new. But here we are back again at old base. Alpha base, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to see real quick. Is my cactus, automatic cactus farm still going? It, it, it is. I don't know how that works with like the loaded chunks or whatnot, but yeah, it's still going over here. Uh, I guess we could bring some cactus back if we really want to. But again, we can start a farm in our new area, which I'm actually really excited about. But enough random stuff. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. Enough random stuff. Let's go ahead and put this painting down somewhere. Yeah, this is the way to our museum. If you're jumping in for the very first time, you have a lot of catching up to do, people. Yes, you do. Uh, but okay. Where the heck should we put this thing? It is a 4x4 four four painting, and of course, my my favorite expansion I did was over here. And it would make sense for it to be like here, but I'm not going to redo or change this area because I think it turned out really, really great. I don't really want to change it too much, uh, but I got to do some brainstorming. I brought some blocks, some really random blocks, like I brought snow for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure out some kind of brainstorming of where this sucker could go. Okay, so I basically just dug up from where I was, and I have a bit of an idea forming, which is a dangerous idea. Not really dangerous, just kind of like, what am I thinking about, and I'm kind of running with it, but I feel like this idea is getting a little bit more expansive by the second, so I feel like I should probably end this episode off here, and then kick off the next one with this idea. Because, uh, yeah, this episode is turning out a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Last episode was a, like, hour-long special. Uh, because of the fact it was episode 10 and also the first time we went to beta. So yeah, we're chilling in beta 1.2 again for next episode, which might seem like, hey, we're spending a lot of time in this beta thing, uh, or beta 1.2, but you know what? I, I'm having a ton of fun with this update. It's actually a really big update, and it's proving to be pretty exciting. So we're going to start off next episode with a really strange idea, uh, but it should be a lot of fun, and uh, we'll, I'll check back in with you guys in the next episode. But for now, that is going to wrap up, I believe, episode 11 of our Minecraft last Let's play. I almost said Minecraft Alpha Let's Play, which would have been completely wrong. Our Minecraft Beta Let's Play now. Yes, so exciting. So, thank you guys again for watching and checking out the series. I always really do appreciate it. So, uh, make sure to check back in for the next episode. Like and subscribe. Do all that. I really, really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you next time, and bye-bye. Uh,